Hi, my amazing learning family. Today we are diving into a Harvard University interview challenge that will boost your interview confidence. Let's jump right in. So 9 to the power 4 to the power m is equal to 4 raised to the power 9 to the power m. So here we have to find the value of m. Now starting our solution, 9 to the power 4 to the power m is equal to 4 to the power 9 to the power m. So now here 4 to the power m and 9 to the power m these are our exponents. So if we just take log on both hand side they are taking log on both sides. So we will get here log 9 raised to the power 4 to the power m is equal to log 4 raised to the power 9 to the power m. As we know that according to logarithm rule that if we have log a to the power p then it will be equal to p log a. So here our left hand side of this equation will be that 4 to the power m log 9 is equal to 9 to the power m log 4. Now if we divide log 9 on both hand side so we will get dividing here on our left hand side and similarly on our right hand side. So if we noticed our left hand side this log 9 is cancelled out with log 9 so we will get 4 to the power m is equal to 9 to the power m times log 4 divided by log 9. Now our next step will be here if we multiply both hand side by 1 over 9 to the power m so here it is 9 to the power m and similarly here we just write 9 to the power m. We have divided 9 to the power m on both hand side so 9 to the power m is cancelled out with 9 to the power m. We will get 4 to the power m over 9 to the power m is equal to log 4 over log 9. Now our left hand side is 4 to the power m over 9 to the power m and if we write this one like 2 squared whole to the power m over 3 squared whole to the power m is equal to 4 to the power m over 9 to the power m. So writing this one then it will be equal to 2 squared whole to the power m over 3 squared whole to the power m is equal to. Here we have log this 4 can be written as 2 squared over log 9 is 3 squared. Now according to this rule if we have a to the power a over b a to the power m over b to the power m then it is equal to a over b whole to the power m. So using here then it will be 2 squared divided by 3 squared whole to the power m is equal to here log 2 squared over log 3 squared. Now here we see that we have the same exponents so we can use again this law then it will be 2 over 3 that is 2 over 3 whole to the power 2 times m is equal to log 2 squared over log 3 squared. Now we know that according to logarithm law if we have that log a to the power p is equal to p log a so applying this law here in numerator and similarly in denominator so we have 2 over 3 whole to the power 2 m is equal to 2 log 2 all over 
here we have two log two log three so we see that this two is cancelled out with two now our next step will be now two over three whole to the power two m is equal to here we can use logarithm law if we have log a over log b then it is equal to log a to base b so applying this rule here then we get log 2 to base 3 now if we take again log on both hand side so we will get taking log on both hand side here taking log on both sides so we have log 2 over 3 whole to the power 2m is equal to log here we have log 2 to base 3 now using again logarithm powers law here on our left hand side then we will shift this 2m so 2m log 2 over 3 is equal to log times log 2 to base 3 so here if we divide both hand side by log 2 over 3 so here we have log 2 over 3 and similarly log 2 over 3 so this log 2 over 3 is cancelled out with log 2 over 3 we will get 2 m is equal to log times log 2 to base 3 all over log 2 over 3 now here 2m is equal to here we can use again on that this law if we have log a over log b it is equal to log a to base b so here we have log a over log b then it will be log a is log 2 base 3 and with base 2 over 3 now if we divide this 2 on both hand side because we have to find the value of m so 2m over 2 is equal to here we just write 1 over 2 times log log 2 to base 3 with base 2 over 3 so it is this uh, 2 is cancelled out so we will get m is equal to 1 over 2 times log log 2 to base 3 with base 2 over 3 so it is the final value of m that is our answer hence we have find out the value of m for this problem now we are going to just review our problem step by step here so that's it for today if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up share it with someone preparing for top universities admissions and subscribe for more interesting contents thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye